Now let's go to Ellington. More boys basketball. The Knights hosted rival Summers. Second half action. We pick it up. Summers gets things going. Quick passing leads to Colby McCormick. He's got the pass. Knocks down the three from way downtown. This one's close in Ellington tonight. Back come the Knights. Ellington keeps things going inside before Caden Brandon gets the pass. It's the layup. Nice play there. Back comes Summers on the break. Move the ball down court. Troy Maya gets the pass inside, hits the layup. He's got two. It's tight. Ellington has a little bit more. Brandon gets the rebound off the missed shot, finds Drew Casella outside. He's got a look, buries the shot. Ellington has a lead. And then finally, here's a tough play. Brandon gets inside, puts it up, hits the layup, and the foul. Big play there for the Knights. They go on to beat Summers 46 40. The Knights move to 14 and 3. All right, now let's talk about some girls basketball. We're starting to yep. wind that that season down. They're about a week or so ahead of the boys here on the Friday Night Frenzy. Yeah, remember way back week one, our game of the week, it was Hamden and Mercy. Hamden won that game 48-44, and they have won every game since. The rematch in Hamden, undefeated and number one in the state, the Hamden Green Dragons against number five in the state, Mercy. Let's see what makes Hamden so good. How about Gianna Donnarumo outside? They need a three, she takes it. Then there's the Philippot sisters, Elena right there. Hamden has a nine point lead. Mercy comes in with 14 wins. Number five rankings in the game time CT poll. Ava Jean Siracusa, the jump back three. Philippots again, strong move to the basket. That one's coming up. And then Donnarumma sees Gianna Roberts inside, makes a great pass. Mercy makes a couple of baskets to get close. Only close for a while. Kate Donlin off the steal. Hamden wins it 61 47. They are 19 0, top seed in Class Double L. Mercy drops to 11 5. They'll be a team to deal with in Class Double M.